Hello everyone, in this video I'll review not one but two PSA S21 subwoofers. These subwoofers were sent over to me from the team at Power Sound Audio. Power Sound Audio is an American company based in Ohio. If you're in the home theater and audio, you've likely heard of or run across this company. They've been making speakers and subwoofers for a while. They offer free shipping, a 60-day in-home trial period, five-year warranty, and if there's a price reduction within 60 days of your purchase, they will refund the difference. Power Sound Audio actually sent a full 5.2 speaker system. A full review of the entire PSA setup is coming soon, but the focus of this video will be these monsters. And as always, my comments, thoughts, and opinions have not been directed or influenced in any way. The S21 is 23 and 3 fourths inches tall, 23 and 3 fourths inches wide, 24 and a half inches deep, and weighs 157 pounds. The enclosure is made out of MDF and covered in this matte black finish. It's sealed. It comes with an acoustically transparent grill, which I'm going to leave off because I like seeing the woofer. And this woofer is a 21 inch BNC IPAL woofer with a 6 inch split wound aluminum voice coil. On the back is the amplifier. It's rated at 4,000 watts RMS, 6,000 watts peak. For controls, there is a switch for on, off, and auto. Gain control, room size control, crossover, delay, left and right RCAs, 12 volt trigger, XLR loop output, XLR input, and the on off switch. With the subwoofer in the box is the grill, owner's manual, power cord, and sliders to put under the rubber feet. I took measurements with REW. These measurements are largely driven by the unique characteristics of my home theater. So measurements in your space may be different. This is the final REW measurement of both subs, one in the front left and the other in the front right of my home theater. Had to do a little work to even out the response. In my initial passes, I was getting a big wavy drop off between 40 and 60 hertz. I'm definitely not an expert, but I was able to play around with some of the settings until I got a response that I was comfortable enough with. I did not experiment with the subwoofer placement i may try that later to see if that helps at all with this dip around 16 hertz which if you've seen any of my other sub reviews is always present also with this dip at 74 hertz i could not clean that up but this is where i am now beyond the measurements what is the real world experience with these subs for me in my space i was impressed with how it filled my home theater there's so much bass and pressure and as you may imagine these 21 inch woofers absolutely pound these are definitely able to dive deep into those lower frequencies i'll play a few clips and of course they won't sound remotely the same as they do in person but you will be able to hear what i demoed and see these 21 inch woofers move the scene I chose has some big time bass punches, not just ones I could hear, but a pounding that I could feel with these subs. I like this scene because it dives deep into those lower frequencies. The sound begins to swell as we get that long, sustained, meaty rumble. This scene is just cool. One of my favorite movie reveals, not super deep, but quick throaty rumble. And these subs did a great job. The impact sounds in this scene are big. Great response from these subs. I could feel each impact on my body and my home theater is on a concrete slab and these subs were shaking my seats. The rocket launch in this scene is all power and all punch. There's a gradual buildup of nice, deep, room shaking bass. A 
again, a review of the entire speaker system sent by PowerSound Audio, including these subs is coming soon. But I wanted to do a video that showcased these subs because they definitely deserve it. They are big, they look incredible, they can handle just about anything I threw at them, and I had a lot of fun with these. If you're looking for a mix of big time power, quick response at a reasonable price, I would recommend these.